this is just a riding arena and it doesn't have anything in it. Uh, we're basically taking stuff that we have around here. I have the chutes and uh, Curtis Schendel, a rancher from here, he's got a bunch of panels and we're just going to got some volunteer help here and we're just going to put it together so that we have a rodeo arena when we're done. There is a lot of bronc riding fans. There's, this is kind of bronc riding country in Texas. It's bull riding country type deal and roping and stuff. And, and up around here, people love riding bucking horses or watching bucking horses. I think that basis basically comes from the quality of saddle bronc horses that we have up here, which you, know, you see every year half the horses at the NFR are from Canada. So it's, uh, it's nice to be able to, uh, people to be able to see that on TV, watch that stuff, and then go, holy smokes, we're gonna have that right here in Wildwood. It looks like it was going to be awful dusty and the wind's blowing right into the beer can. Nobody likes sand in their beer. No room for the weak hearted here. <laughs> non Wildwood, anyway. Watch Bunk right now. Bring them on, here we go. Well, this is the short go. This is where all the top guys make it and the top horses. It's uh, on paper, it's gonna be tough to pick a winner here, but we're, it's probably whoever gets out there and tries the hardest and makes a good ride. You're gonna have to be aggressive. There's no sense in holding back today. It's uh, the guy who makes the best ride, so you might have a, a good ride or go down.
Oh, oh, this is looking good. He's better now. Oh, this is looking good. Really good. Perfect back. Perfect ball drive. Chester, good luck, son. Out, Chet. Do it. Do it. Yes. I don't know what else to say, but wow. What about your homeboy? You got you gotta buy some real estate. Billy, you're gonna sell him part of that pasture. You need to see this buckle, because this is a buckle Jet's going to wear. On behalf of the Stone family and Stone Oil Field Services, for the 10th anniversary, this buckle is patterned after the buckle that Roddy wears in his Houston Championship buckle. going to see anywhere. You got to have a lot of dry. Yep. The guys with all the dry end up winning.